Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to show you how I do my everyday makeup look. It literally takes me about five minutes, so I'm going to try to fly through this as quickly as I can to give you an accurate uh, timestamp. Um, and I'm actually doing this during a time when my skin isn't that great. I have a lot of little breakouts here, despite not touching my face. It's just, we're coming off of winter, dry season here in Seattle. So I've already prepped my face with the Confidence in a Cream by It Cosmetics. I actually started using Herbivore face oil for a bit. So it was just, my skin was so dry and this just was not working for me, which is a bummer because it's expensive. <laughs> but I went back to this stuff. It's like super, super thick. And then I always use sunscreen on my face. Right now I'm using the Kula face sunscreen. So to get started, I actually have changed a lot of my makeup since the last time I did this, which isn't surprising since that was like three years ago. Um, so I'm using Fenty Beauty brush for my foundation and Pat McGrath Lab foundation. For the past like, I don't know, years of my life, I've been using the Armani foundation, which I still prefer to this. This was sent to me, which was lovely, but I don't know. First of all, it's slightly too light for my skin. My skin started getting really bad, and I think at the same time I switched my foundation and my face oil, and it was like dry season, and it just was not a good time for Heather. So I've never used a beauty blender. Well, I have, and I just don't understand it. I don't like them. I like using brushes. Oh, and this is shade light three. I'm pretty pale. I'm gonna use MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15. I've used this since I was in high school. Not literally this bottle. It's super thick, long wear. It's a little bit towards name. I'm actually gonna do a little bit under my eyes too because your girl's a little tired. Okay, then I take, I don't know what this is, just a brush from Sephora and Bare Minerals, Bare Pro um, Powder Foundation in Champagne 3, duh. I just powder, set my concealer and foundation. Okay, next I go to my um, bronzer and using the Fenty 195 bronzer brush and Fenty Beauty Private Island bronzer. I feel like I have a hard time with bronzer. Like I feel like when I first put it on, I look kind of crazy. Oh, that's not too bad. Like see, I feel like this is looking wild. And I feel like I'm putting on a little extra this time of year because like I said, we're coming off winter. I need to just be looking a little bronzier to find that non-existent jawline. Um, now I'm using NARS Orgasm Blush with this MAC. 168, 188 brush. Okay, at this point I switch over to my eyes and for just a day, normal day, again, what we're doing, I use Stila Day All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Do. I used to be really good with my eyeliner. Like I could do a swoop and it was perfect, but I stopped wearing it for a while when I was doing the eyelash extensions really consistently because it just was unnecessary and was like messing up my eyelashes. Blah, 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 blah. Ever since the dawn of time that I've been wearing makeup my whole life, I use this black eyeliner pencil from Lancome. It's like not a thing anymore to put eyeliner in your waterline. I still do like on the outer like third or half. I just have really big eyes and I just like how it makes my face look. I'm gonna do fake lashes today. So I have this Dior Triple Volume Lash Primer and I put this on the bottom lashes. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Today I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in color chocolate. If I don't do this, then I use um, powder actually. I use Bobbi Brown in color. Wow, can you tell me what color that is? Because I can't. Brows are another thing I'm trying to get a little better at because every day is a mystery. How's it gonna look today? I don't know, we'll find out. I usually make them look a little crazy and then I'll brush them through. We're gonna give the Primer lashes, one more sec. So I'm gonna use Lorac Daylight Highlighter. Wow, can I think? I actually do like to bring it around my little, the balls of my cheeks. Is that what they're called? <laughs> the balls of your cheeks. I used to be like really light with my um, highlighter around my nose. And then I watched the YouTube video recently where Alec did my makeup and he put so much on my nose. And I was like, it actually looks kind of cute. So now bottom lashes, we're going to use the Dry Bar plus It Cosmetics collab. And I feel like it is a fabulous mascara. 
Okay, da, 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 da. last but not least, we are going to do our fake eyelashes. I use the Ardell Natural 120s. I understand why people think putting on fake eyelashes is really hard. I have absolutely zero problem, usually. Knock on wood, now I'm not gonna be able to do it on camera. And now my trick is do not put it on right away. You will have a tough time. Let it dry for like 15. Okay, so you want to make sure that the eyelash before you put glue on is sized right to your eye. I have big eyes like I mentioned, so eyelashes usually are like the perfect size for my eye. I try to come in from like, oh, what a cute angle. You want to get the edges on. Then I kind of pinch my lashes with the fake eyelashes. And I try to kind of pull them down a little bit so they dry more out than like up so they don't look so fake and crazy. It makes them look a bit more natural. And now we'll do lash number two. Let it kind of dry. You want it to be tacky, not like so wet that it's moving around every time you touch it. Okay. And then I finish up with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, setting spray. <coughs> and then what do I have in my drawer? We're gonna finish up with KK Beauty Lip Liner in Nude 2 that I need to sharpen. Then we're gonna do Kylie lipstick in creme brulee. And there you go. Here is my final foch. This is what I do every single day, unless I'm feeling uh, lazy, then I don't put on fake eyelashes because that does take a little bit of extra time, obviously. So without that, it's like a true five minutes. Putting lashes on adds like another two minutes, which I'll make time for. Take this time at home to experiment with your makeup, whatever you have, or like I have a box of makeup that really need to go through because three quarters of it are probably bad at this point, but like why is it just sitting there? Take this time, try something new, have some fun. Like, comment, subscribe if you like this video. All right, bye.